Voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. So, how is this video any different from your typical feminist video that you see on the internet every freaking day? I'll tell you. You'd be shocked when I say this. It's actually kind of different. I know. Shocking. It's Thoughtful Thursday. Anti-feminism. Oh, this is one of those conversations you just can't have. Yeah, it's like we have no constructive criticism whatsoever. Because people don't act civil about it. For whatever reason, people go to extremes. They're either like, fuck you, kill you, and die, or they insist that we abstain from the conversation altogether. Neither of these answers are what it is. We need to be able to talk about things, we need to be able to work things out and come to a common ground. We need to be able to accept that there are going to be cultures of things that we don't agree with, or we don't necessarily want to be part of. Is that why you ignore any form of constructive criticism when I made my comment against you? Just take a look. You see, you say that you want a common ground discussion or whatever, and the very first thing that you did is that you say that feminism means equality, and by opposing feminism, that means you oppose equality. That is a load of shit. I am a humanist, and of course, a equalist. I am not a feminist. I oppose feminist ideology. But that does not mean that I am opposing equality. If I was to oppose equality, I wouldn't be a humanist or an egalitarian, is whatever, that E word. I'd be against um, women working in jobs that, you know, aren't necessarily for women. I wouldn't want women in NASCAR. I wouldn't want um, women in baseball or whatever. I'd be against women having the upper hand in things. I would want women to be back in the fucking kitchen to serve only the man. That is the purpose of a woman and in case of someone who feels that women are nothing more than fucking tools. So, please, stop shoving words down my fucking throat. And if that's the case, don't be part of those things, for one. And don't be upset that someone else is voicing their opinion. Anti-feminism has no point. The only thing that it shows is that you're a jerk and you want women under your boot. You have no freaking evidence for that. You're just making a big fat statement. I bet you haven't even been on YouTube long enough to even realize that. Have you even watched anti-feminist videos? I doubt that you have. You need to start watching some of the amazing atheist videos. Or hell, even start with mine. I'm an anti-feminist. And I have already destroyed the common core arguments again for feminism. And I'll do it again if I have to. And women are just as guilty as men of this. Particularly the dude bros. But there are women who advocate that hierarchy of things where it goes man and woman. And I'm not one of those. But I run into those people occasionally and they don't understand <laughs> my world when we come together, but I understand what they're coming from, but no, they want, you're supposed to be the man, and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. I get that. I get that. That's no. No, you haven't. Especially considering that you've done your research so freaking poorly. That's another topic. It relates to this, because when it comes down to it, I'm on Anita Sarkeesian side. Ah, of course you be supportive of Anita Sarkeesian. There's no constructive criticism against Anita Sarkeesian. We're just all just a bunch of sexist pigs. We just want women under a heel. Yeah, you figure it out. Congratulations. I don't agree with every single word she says. I don't really like how she presents probably about half of it because I feel like I'm getting yelled at. But she's getting better and better every video. She's doing everything 
a little bit better, and she's actually managing to curb the anger that she has, or maybe she's just getting sensitized at this point, because let's face it, she's put up with a hell of a lot more than she ever should have. She even posted on Twitter the other day saying, why am I doing this? I, I don't know why I do. And I tried to give her a semi-inspirational quote to stand with her and show that, hey, some of us are on her side. Uh, but I think the haters outweigh the, the supporters, and all I can say is, I need to do your thing, and I'm going to defend your right to do it, even if we don't agree all the time, because, hey, uh, you've got the right, and the dude bros have the right to their argument. I'm not telling them to take their videos down. I'm not saying I'm going to rape them and their asses. I'm just going to call them idiots and be done with it. Because that's the best way to start a discussion. Call them idiots and then say that you won sense is they voice their opinion I voice my opinion and then I've separated myself from that so that I'm not toxified by their nonsense Wow here I thought Anita Sarkeesian was a bubble living bitch but you you're pretty much a bubble living bastard not saying that everything that speaks out against Anita Sarkeesian is wrong just saying hey we have a right to our opinions and Anita's not perfect, pretty tough, but everybody is fallible, everybody has mistakes, and I'm not saying that they don't show in the design of things sometimes. Let's just agree to disagree, let's get some more pro-feminist type games out there. Okay, you pretty much contradict your own freaking statement. First of all, you said that, you know, you... Uh, quote unquote, agree to disagree and call those people who voices their opinion against Anita Sarkeesian they're total fucking idiots and then turn around saying, oh, well, you know, I'm not saying that not all videos against Anita Sarkeesian is bad, you know, there's some constructive criticism. So, which one is it? And why the hell do game developers, I mean, excuse me, game developers have to make pro-feminist video games just for the sake of your own freaking ego? You, uh, Anita Sarkeesian has over 150 bucks. I mean, 150,000 bucks. I think it's safe to say that you have more than enough cash to make your own freaking video games to fit your own freaking ego. I'm all about strong female characters. I'm all about switching Link and Zelda up for a game or making Zelda a co-optional character. Uh, there are several different ways to go about this problem in the indie industry. It's just a matter of somebody who is actually in charge of making the game waking up and doing it, or someone who is making games to come out and do it. Most of my situational stuff is kind of gender neutral. There are a few scenarios where it's a male lead character. That doesn't mean it doesn't involve strong female characters. There's no separation in my head for these things, and I really wish it would stop. <sighs> That's a thought I thought this Thursday. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations, and they'll take you to our other channel. Well, you should pretty much just rename this video called Not So Thoughtful Thursday, because there's really nothing thoughtful about this video. You're basically putting us into an ultimate stereotype or a, a straw man into thinking that we only oppose feminism because we oppose women. Fuck you. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks.